At first, let's take a look at ProGit. ProGit is a tool that's used to manage your different feeds and all of your software components. In this demo of ProGit, I've configured a few different feeds, one of them for deployment packages and one of them for continuous integration packages. What a feed is, is it contains a set of packages for your organization. These can be any sort of component or application. In this case, we'll be working on one very simple application called accounts.web. It's a very simple application that just represents a very, very basic website. When we go and take a look at it, we can see that it has some basic metadata in it. And when we look inside the files, we can see that it is a basic web application that contains various files needed to run the application. What it specifically is doesn't really matter because inside of a package, you can use really anything that you want. Now you'll note that we're browsing this package on ProGit, and inside of ProGit we can navigate between all of the different package versions and move the packages between a feed, see where packages have been deployed, and so on. But I also want to show you a tool called the Universal Package Explorer. The Universal Package Explorer is a Windows desktop application that allows you to create and view universal packages on your desktop. You can see pretty easily all the contents within a package, and you can look at the metadata and edit it very easily using the graphical user interface. But these are just simple JSON files, so you can open them up in any tool like Notepad and edit them from there. What's nice about Universal Package Explorer is that you can easily add files, view them, and then publish packages to a feed. This makes it a lot easier than working with zip files directly or the command line tools as well. What I also want to point out is our package variables. Inside of a package, you're able to store variables that the Hedgehog deployment tool will use. We'll see where these come into use a little bit later, and you can use these variables to store anything about the package, additional metadata, or, or those sorts of things. We can also view these files in ProGit as well. I'll switch back to ProGit to show you the difference. Inside of ProGit, when we look at a file, you can see the variables, for example. All we're storing here is the git commit ID. This is where our code base is. Some deployment steps that the developer thought might be required for this package, and maybe a debug uh, flag to say that this is a, not a debug package. These are just used to express developer's intent and allow us to, to control how the package will be deployed later on when we move into deployment. Hopefully that gives you a good idea of how to use the Universal Package Explorer along with ProGit. One thing I wanted to mention about the Universal Package Explorer tool is that it's free and open source. ProGit also has a free version as well, so you can use any of these tools completely for free within your organization and contribute to them from an open source standpoint.